Hi, this is Mark with HowToWindows.com. This tutorial will show you how to use Windows Easy Transfer. Windows Easy Transfer is a program that can transfer your files, folders, and settings from one computer to another. This is great if you are trying to upgrade your Windows or if you're trying to reinstall your Windows and you don't want to reinstall every single program. If you're on Windows XP, you will need to download the program from the link in the description and go through the setup. It may be a little different than this tutorial, but the idea is the same. If you're using Windows 7 or Vista, type an Easy Transfer into the Start search box and click Windows Easy Transfer. It will open a new window showing you what Easy Transfer can do. Press Next. You now have a choice as to what you want to use to transfer the files. If you have two different computers available, you can use the Easy Transfer cable that is only available if you purchase it. You can use a network that will save the files to another computer on the network. Or you can use an external hard drive or flash drive, but you may need a lot of room, so have that in mind. You will now be given the choice between new computer and old computer. Since we have not previously saved the files, we will click This is my old computer. The computer will now scan for folders, documents, and settings, and anything else that it can find that can be transferred. Once it is done scanning, it will start estimating how much room you will need for the hard drive. You can also customize what exact files and folders you will want backed up. For this tutorial, I will be choosing everything. Now as a side note, when the box is filled in blue instead of a check mark, that means that the entire directory isn't selected. Once you are done selecting, there will be an estimate as to how big the file will be. Make sure you have that space available. Press next and you have an option to add a password to the file, so nobody else can get your information. I will choose not to add a password. Once you press save, the computer will ask you where you want to save the file. I'll save it to my external hard drive. This is the part that can take some time. It is going to copy over everything you told it to, and where you told it to. Once it is completed, you will get this screen. When you press next, it will show you where you saved the file for transfer. Press close once you are done. On the new computer, click Start, then type in Easy, and click Windows Easy Transfer. Once again, the information page will appear. Press Next, then select the same method as before. Then press This is my new computer. If you are using an external hard drive, make sure the hard drive is plugged into the new computer. Then press Yes. Locate the hard drive, then select the file for easy transfer. Once it finishes opening the file, it will let you know what is available to be transferred. You can also use more advanced options if you want to change some settings. For example, if you wanted to make a new username, or if you wanted to transfer it to a different hard drive. Press save once you are done. Then click Transfer. You will then get a confirmation once it has completed.